Righty ho then guys, welcome back to a new video. Now, I'm gonna leave this bit short and sweet, but basically today's video, I'm thinking about raffling off the Audi. So let's crack to it. <laughs> So here she is, the 2007 A4 2 litre TDI S line, 170 brake diesel in all of her former glory. I gave her a quick uh, once over yesterday at the jet wash because jet washes are now back open, which is good. So I gave her an all right clean there at the good old scratch and shine. And as you can see, she ain't looking too shabby. So yeah, as I just mentioned, I want to, well, I don't want to, I was thinking of raffling off the, uh, the Audi. And how this is going to work, or how I plan for it to work, is it'll be X amount per ticket, and then I'll only ever I'll only do the raffle if that amount of tickets, if like X amount of tickets has been sold. Thank you for ruining my video car. Um, yeah, so you know, like I'd only do the raffle if X amount of tickets is sold, and all this sort of stuff. Um, because obviously I'd want to make a bit of money back and all that sort of stuff. So let's quickly run over the Audi. I'll tell you a little bit about it, all that sort of stuff. And then, uh, then yeah, we'll, 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 I'll talk to you a little more about it. Now, quick note before I do start this properly. Um, I've been watching a lot of Calvin's Car Diary lately. You know, hashtag on it. Been watching a lot of him lately. I've fallen back on my YouTube videos due to, you know, like being in a relationship and stuff like that. And being out doing stuff all the time, which I now have free time. We'll, we'll, um, we'll conclude that in another video though but you know I've been catching up with good old Calvin's car diary and I see that he's been you know doing like these free giveaways on his channel due to like ad sponsors and stuff like that unfortunately you know I'm not in a position where I can have ad sponsors or anything like that so everything I do is strictly coming out of my pocket you know no ad revenue nothing like that but I like giving back to you guys, hence why I've done two giveaways and stuff like that. I like giving back to you guys, and it would be perfect to give the Audi to one of you guys. Um, so, why do I want to get rid of it? Well, this is this simple. Look, well, there's a couple of reasons why. I'm bored of it, for one. I want something different. You know, I was, I was thinking maybe going rear-wheel drive next. Um, I've had a couple of things in life that have not exactly forced me to sell it, but have made me want to sell it even more lately so you know it's it's it doesn't matter of things but main of it is i'm just bored of it i've said a fair few times that i'm bored of this car there's so many cars going past me so i do apologize for road noise god darn it um so yeah that's this is a lot of the reason why i want to get rid of it so what i'm going to do because you know i'm an open open and honest person and uh <coughs> and you know like i want you guys to know what you're getting exactly so i'm going to go over every little nitty gritty detail about it and all that sort of stuff now the first thing i want to start off with is mainly this sticker daily beta now you're probably looking at the audi and thinking why is the audi a daily beta like you know like it's an audi it's a smart car you know like it's supposed well it's supposed to be a smart car well that's where you guys are wrong now for you those of you that are like long-term subscribers and stuff like that You'll know that I walked around this car when I first picked it up and picked out all the little like dings and marks and stuff like that around it. Um, since then, obviously, quite a few things have changed, so I've smartened it up a little bit. Um, but I just don't see no profit in the car to, you know, take it back to its um, former glory properly. So, you know, I fixed the big issues and that's, that's sort of as far as I've got. One of the biggest things was the wheels. It came on this ugly, ugly, ugly flipping, I think that was like B6A4 alloys, and I did not like them, so I ditched them, got some period correct S-line alloys, you'll probably be seeing um, like overshots of, you know, the old alloys that were on it, they were ruined, they only had one centre cap out of all four wheels, all this sort of stuff, it was just horrible, 
So, uh, so yeah, I picked these up. These cost me 150 quid. They're not in the best condition. It's got all of this like black stuff like just stuck to it, which I think is just brake dust. Um, I can't get it off for the life of me. I tried all different wheel cleaners, jet washes, stuff like that. As you can see as well, they are pitted, uh, slightly curved, but you know, the car that, it came, the car that these came off of looked like they had been road hard put away wet. So, you know, all of these, this is probably one of the better wheels to be fair, but all of them, you know, curved, rash, pitted. Show you this side, this side's the worst side. I actually did this big long ass curb mark here, I parked too close to a curb and pulled away and yeah, did that, that, that was all my bad. But you know, look, I've got more pitting down here, you know, so, and then this one is the worst one. I got ran off the road actually, which chewed all of this up. I got ran off the road, the whole way around there, all chewed up because of, um, yeah, being ran off the road. But you know, so the wheels, they could do with a refurb. I'm not going to refurb them. I was thinking of refurbing them. But I'm just not going to bother because, like I said, I don't see the profit in the car. It, 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 it's smart enough as it looks. I mean, like, you look at it from here, it looks all right. Now, obviously, you've got other little marks as well, like this scuff. This scuff came on it when I bought the car. Obviously, the whole of this side has been resprayed. Uh, it needs to actually go back in the body shop because someone's hit it here. And as you can see, there's a hairline crack of the filler from the previous repair. So it's going back to the body shop. It's actually going in this week to get done. I've got real bad stone chip marking. So you know, like that, you know, this car is far from perfect. All this chrome's became delaminated and sort of all faded. You know, key marks. And then the worst of the damage that is on this car really is on this side. You've got that mark there. People out for a bike ride, so let's, you know, let them go past. I don't know what that motorbike that went past absolutely reeks. <coughs> oh god. But yeah. You know, you've got a key mark here. This was done by someone I know that obviously has taken a disliking to me. Got mark there, mark there. They came on the car, so I did the scuff on the rear bumper. So, you know, it's, it's got it's got marks around it. I'm not going to lie there. But it is a straight and honest car. Um, and like I said, you know, you look, you look at it from a certain distance and stuff like that. It still looks all right. It's, it's not too bad. Now, let's jump onto the inside quickly. We'll talk about the inside condition. So here it is, uh, it's looking a little dirty at the moment, um, and also I've still got the exposed dash cam wires. But yeah, let's, you know, look, seats, they're, they're fading a little, but they're still alright, all four seats are fine. Let's jump in. Got a little, got quite a bit of wear around here, quite a bit of wear around the gear knob and handbrake, as to be expected on this. You know, it's, it's, a, it's an older car. Uh... What else? Oh yes, the auto lights looking at the rear view mirror. Auto lights do not work. It comes up with a error on the dashboard and keeps the, the uh, main beams on full all the time. Um, no big deal. You, you know, you just use your normal lights instead. Uh, what else? Obviously, you know, there's marks on the interior panels because I mean, this car's done like what? What's it done? Let's let's flick the ignition on quickly. See how many miles it's done. If the ignition wants to turn on, come on. There we are. It's done 138,000 miles. It needs a service, and the uh, and the uh, excuse my music, and the um, side light needs replacing on the driver's side, which you know will be done the service, and the the uh, light will be done. Um. So yeah. You know, other than that, it is perfectly fine in the cockpit. Oh, uh, the, this is a common issue, the um, armrest. Yeah, there you go, there's the side lights. The, uh, the armrest, you know, is broken. That's a very common issue on these armrests. Um, let's move into the back. Ah, crap. And now you've got broken key as well. <laughs> right, let's move into the back very quickly. I want to try and shoot around this as fast as we can. So here are the back seats. I did try and clean them up when I first got the car. Still some marks in there, but you know, other than that, nothing bad. Now, there is this fraying on this pillar. I don't know where this came from. This has been there ever since I've had it. Looks a bit ugly, but that's about it. And you see the back seats still look really, really fresh. There's a slight hole here. Uh, this was my fault. I put a shovel in the back seat and it fell out of my hand and went straight through the seat. So that's my fault there. Other than that, you know, it's not too bad. There's a couple of marks in the headliner, um, which looked like cigarette burns, but I don't smoke, so definitely hasn't came from me. All right, let's jump out of here because there's nothing else interesting here. Oh, yeah, the uh, rear ashtray. I fitted that because it didn't come with one. 
let's go around to the boot. Show you in here. So in the boot, uh, I, it was tidy until I started transporting wheels and stuff in here, but it's got dirty again. These jump knees don't work, they were given to me by my mate, don't worry, this car don't have a knack of battery, I've actually replaced the battery recently. It's got the original number plates, which is what will come on the car. Uh, this handle keeps falling out and I don't actually know where it's gone. Um, that's quite helpful. Where's the handle gone? Oh, the handle's falling down there. As you can see, space saver, it's got all the original tool kit, and yes, these are full. Uh, comes with some oil, um, I don't know why, because this car don't burn oil at all. Um, but yeah, everything that you see here will be cleaned, there's, you know, muck and stuff. I won't leave this guy if it's dirty. Another thing as well, this light lens is slightly cracked. Uh, let's go round. Let's reach down here, pop the bonnet. Because you guys would want to see what's under here. Oh, she gets hot fast. So here is the engine, it is, you know, I've tried to keep it clean, oh god, that's, that's falling off, that's that's no good, I'll fix that. Um, the reason why this is all sort of funny is because it's this side light that's gone, to get to it you have to remove all of this, but then the clip is broken, you've got like a little like pinch clip to take the bulb out, that's broken, so I actually need to pull the entire front bumper off and pull the headlight out to replace it, but that will be done, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to fix that off camera. Uh, New battery, it looks dirty because, you know, rain and stuff, but new battery and the terminal cover has fallen off of the new battery. Let's try and fix that very quickly. There we go. The yeah, new battery's on there. Uh, I'll pull this engine cover off if it wants to come off. Come on, come off with one hand. There we are. As you can see, under here, it is perfectly fine. It's... Not the prettiest, but you know, there's oil around the oil cap because I'm guessing someone spilt it. I haven't filled this up with oil yet. Uh, this boost pipe is starting to fail and starting to seep a bit of oil, but nothing too bad. Uh, it's been like that since I've had the car and I put 8,000 miles on the car since May last year. But you know, it's had a new alternator, it's had a new water pump, new belts. So absolutely everything done prior to my ownership. I don't even think this car's done 20,000 miles since this has been done. I'm not too sure. It comes with a lot of history. It's got almost a year's MOT on it. Uh, so yeah, quite a bit done under there. Alright. Uh, so yeah. Right, now that was actually really weird. Because my phone, <laughs> I was halfway through filming something and my phone has uh, yeah, ran out of memory. Uh, I've only got four minutes to film on as well, damn it. Right, um, okay. So yeah, as I was saying, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm not too sure whether I want to wrap all this car off yet or not. I might just end up just selling it. But if you guys do want to buy it off of me, if I do just end up selling it, um, you know, I'll tell you when it's all up for sale and stuff like that. And then you can contact me, all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some stuff off of my phone so I've actually got some memory to play with. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go on a drive because I need to shoot off somewhere. I need to shoot off to help a mate quickly. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so I'm going to clear some stuff off my phone quickly so I've got a bit more memory like I just said. I'm going to shoot off. I need to go and help my mate at work and then... I don't know what I'm doing, but, you know, I've, I've, I've got plenty of time to myself now. So, well, we've got to make the most of the day. Um, is there anything I've missed before I go? Uh, yes, there are one, two, three, four chips on the windscreen and driver's view, but my car passed an MIT with these chips. They've been on the car since, um, since I've had it, and I've had no issues with it. They haven't cracked, they haven't got bigger. Uh, and like I said, they have still passed an MIT. It didn't even get picked up as an advisory. Um, I'll show you where they are quickly, actually. I'll spin the camera around and I'll really need to find some space on my phone. So there's the chips. There's three of them. And then there's one more down there, right in your screen there. So yeah, they're the four chips. They're still MIT passable. Um, like I said, it didn't even get picked up on the MIT. So yeah, I'm going to quickly browse through my phone, see if I can find anything else to delete. And then we'll get on the road and outro the video. Alrighty, right, then we now have 17 minutes 39 seconds recording time. Now, like I said, I've just had a couple of warnings pop up. I've got the side light warning and the service warning. Shut up. 
yeah, got side light warning and uh, 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 service warning, um, which will be done. I'm going to do the service next month, actually, after my birthday. And I'm, whilst doing the service, I might as well just, you know, tackle the um, tackle the uh, the side light, or as it's known to Audi, the parking light. Um, <coughs> so. Yeah, a little more about the car. Like I said, it's got quite a bit of history with it. It's had all major work done, I think like less than 20,000 miles ago. So that's like cam belt, water pump, um, you know, stuff like that. It's had all that sort of stuff done. It's had a new battery done, which I've done. It'll have a service. It's got MIT till November. Uh, like I said, this is a two litre TDI S line, 170 brake, which means that it comes with a six speed manual. Uh, it's got the aluminium interior pack, which is why you've got silver accents on it. Um, so yeah, you know, it's 138,000 miles, which on these is nothing, it's no seven. Um, so really it should be up there more in mileage, if anything. So, you know, I wouldn't say it's a majorly low mileage example, but it's lower mileage. I haven't even plugged the dash cam in. There we go, I'll plug that in. Get that on the go, there we are. Good old Goodyear dash cam. Um, yeah, if you can see all the cables dangling in the background, it's for the rear dash, dash cam as well. Um, like I said to you before, in my um, selling the Audi video that I've done before, um, I've left everything exposed and all that because I am really toying with the idea of selling it. I mean, like I said, I've got some circumstances that have come up uh, which make me want to sell it. I'm just generally bored of it. I want to change. Um, so, yeah. Uh, for those of you that don't know as well, obviously I mentioned Calvin's car diary. If you guys haven't seen him, He's a bloody good YouTuber. He's on like 128,000 subscribers or something like that. And he's a car trader. He uh, buys and sells cars. Um, and he, he takes you on his journey. And I, I think the videos he does are quality. And um, that's sort of the route I want to go down. I want, you know, I want to have the project car, which is obviously the Yaris. I'd ideally like to have more project cars alongside it. Like, you know, if this YouTube channel takes off. Um, I don't know if it will or not. Um, I really hope it does. It, you know, the things are picking up for this channel, which is quite nice to see. So, you know, like, I want to be not bang on exactly like Calvin's Car Diary because, you know, I don't want a full blown car sale and stuff like that. But, you know, I want to have my project car or cars. And, you know, I want to chop and change the daily, mix things up, get stuff on the channel that, you know, maybe, maybe are different and quirky and own them for a bit and tell you how I get on with owning them. And, you know, just really like douse into like that sort of side of like car stuff. I mean, like I said, like I've got loads of time on my hands now because of stuff that's been going on. Uh, we'll get into that in a different video because I still don't know what the final outcome is. But um, but yeah. So you know, I'm I'm feeling quite motivated. I'm I'm feeling quite good. Um, and yeah, unfortunately. It, might be the end of the road for the Audi in regards to my ownership because yeah I'm just bored of it and stuff like that um, like I said I'm not going into too much detail at the moment but you know I've shown you around the car I've been as honest as possible it's a nice honest reliable daily and it pulls well let's go for this so you know it, it, it pulls it really really pulls even though it's only 170 brake horsepower it really does pull it hasn't been mapped it hasn't had a dpf delete you know nothing like that so it is bog standard um i know i said in a couple of previous videos to do with this card that you know it's had a remap and a dpf delete but truthfully i don't think it has it flew through the mo2 with flying colors when it came to emissions and stuff um but yeah, I don't know, it might have had a map on it because it does feel quite responsive and it does feel quite quick. Not 100% sure, I haven't got any proof of it. Um, well, from what I've seen of the paperwork anyway, I haven't got any proof of it. I haven't really looked at the paperwork, but I know it does come with quite a few bits. But, yeah, like I said, it's got MOT till November. So, yeah, let's talk very quickly about how I want this raffle to go if I go ahead with it. Now, at the moment, all I want to know is, are you guys, you know, do you guys want a chance to win the Audi? Do you guys want me to do a raffle? If I get enough interest and enough of you guys saying yes, I might set it up and I might release more information on it. 
I did do a poll on my Instagram and on my personal Facebook, not the uh, YouTube related Facebook. And I had very mixed views. Uh, most of it ended up being, no, don't raffle it off. But on the flip side, quite a few of you guys did say yes. Um, I think I think it was almost like a 60-40 split, so it was almost 50-50, near enough. Um, so yeah, very mixed views about it. And, um, and yeah. So if you guys do honestly want me to raffle off this Audi, like I said, it is far from perfect. It will have a service done. It'll have the side light looked at and changed. Uh, thank you very much, geezer. Um, yeah, it will have the... Um, the side light changed, it will have a service before it goes. But in regards to anything else, like I said, it's going into body shop at the end of the week as well. Um, yeah, going into body shop during this week, actually, not at the end of this week. I think it's going in like Wednesday or something like that to get that front end redone again because some Muppet hit it and it's cracked the filler and I don't want moisture getting in there to rot everything inside out. Apologies for the shaky camera, I'm going down like this bumpy ass road and it's really irritating. Um, <laughs> but. But yeah, so that's sort of where I stand with this sort of stuff. If you guys want me to raffle it off, let me know. If you think I should just sell the Audi, let me know. But I do genuinely think it is, you know, time for a change now. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to look for next. The things that I was going to look for are expensive on insurance. Um, what I might do is I might actually do a follow-on video and talk about the options I was looking at and how much insurance is for them. Um, but yeah, so my replacement options are quite expensive on the old insurance. This is still the cheapest out of all of my options. So I don't know whether to go for something more basic and boring and maybe have a bit of fun with it. I don't know whether to look for saying executive again, maybe go for a Merc, BMW, another Audi, I don't know. You know, I, I'm really not sure. I'm tempted to go with like full like granddad mode and actually try like... <laughs> Try like a Lexus IS 220D or something like that. I'm not too sure, you know, just nice big Japanese box on wheels, nice big leather armchairs, you know. I don't know. I don't know what, what this channel has to bring yet. I'll have to look at insurance and options. But if you guys have any ideas on what I could replace this car with, what you'd want to see on the channel in regards to the, in a way, the Calvin Car Diary trader side sort of stuff, maybe. If you guys have any ideas on what you want to see on that, what you want me to get, um, please do also remember I am working on tight budgets. Like the replacement will probably be about as much as I sell this car for. So I might have 17, 1800 quid to play with. So it's got to be something affordable uh, and insurance as well, unless I hold off for a bit and you know save a bit more longer, not too sure. But you know, I might have 17, 1800 quid, maybe two grand to play with. Um, and then we'll try and get something cool and quirky on the channel or, you know, another another luxury thing like that. Well, this isn't really luxury, but you get what I mean. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna stop muttering on, you know, like, like I said, this car, this car's all right. It's, it's you know, six speed box, all that sort of stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna stop muttering on now because I really feel I've dragged this video on too long. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know, know down below if you're interested in raffling it, if you're interested in just buying it off of me. Just as a word of warning, the buying price I'll probably be looking for is around 1,500 quid, 1,700 quid, something like that, I'm not too sure. Um, I'll have to do a bit more research, but that's sort of the price that I'd be looking at for this car if you guys wanna buy it off of me. Um, and also as well, let me know what I should replace this car with. I, I'd love to see, you know, some recommendations. Do you want something plain and boring that we can have a bit of fun with? Do you want another cruiser, bruiser machine like this? You know, let, let me know. Maybe I'll look into a few different options and um, yeah, maybe we'll get another new car on the channel. But until then, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. I really need a drink. My throat is as dry as a nun's clacker. So, <laughs> I'm gonna find somewhere to grab a drink at some point. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe out there, everybody, and I'll catch you soon.